Hi, in this video, I'm going to introduce an alternative to every native iOS application, starting with Photos. As you know, Photos in iOS 18 revamp in the worst possible shape, and I can see that it pieces a lot of people off. Reading reviews is quite funny, but it seems it's done this way now, and we have to bear to it for some time, unless we use an alternative. So for this one, I introduce Hash Photos. This application brings the classic style of photo management. So sliding to the right, you should see pretty much every category that you can filter out your photos with. You should see your albums that you created before, and you can do pretty much anything that you are able to in photo application. You have a complete set of settings also to play with, and I believe this application can easily replace your photo application. Taking a look at the storefront, I can see that the application is quite well supported. The updates are very frequent and the developers support this application quite well. The application is also very respected by the users. I can see a 4.7 for the reviews and the subscription price is quite reasonable. You can pay either monthly, yearly or one time purchase. Apple Note is a great application and with the latest features from iOS 18 such as call recordings, transcribe and also the math notes, it can solve a lot of problems for a lot of people. But if you're looking for the closest alternative, I can introduce Bear. Bear Note is a lightweight markdown supported application with zones of themes and tools of eye. This application can handle large amounts of data, very fluid and easy. And regardless of how many notes you have in it, it still runs very smooth and very fluid. For one subscription price that you pay, you get access to all Apple ecosystem applications and using Bear on Mac is really pleasant. Check out the Zen mode on this application. For example, when I expand on one note, focus and remove all the distractions and everything is achievable for me via shortcut keys. Checking the storefront on this application, I can see that it is well supported very frequent updates from the developers. It's quite well respected as well, 4.7 from reviewers. And the price is very reasonable for the amount of features you get. But if you want a second brain management system, then I would suggest to use Obsidian. Obsidian is cross-platform. It is accessible across all your devices, regardless of the operating system. It is customizable to an infinite because it supports third-party plugins and you can literally change or customize anything in this application. Obsidian is completely free unless you purchase the sync system from them, which they securely sync seamlessly across all your devices. They are not enforcing any control on your data. You can keep your data securely private on your own premises or your desired cloud service. Taking a look at their pricing, I can see that for one vault, up to one gigabyte of data is $4. And for 10 gigabytes of data up to 10 volts, it's 8 USD. Obsidian is very well respected among users and it has a strong community on Reddit, which you can learn or ask questions or just watch how people customize their note taking system and get entertained. Obsidian is a mighty application, but it lacks when it comes to mobile. The ability to quick capture is not competing with other applications and also. It gets quite heavy when you load a lot of customization into your application. I personally suggest third-party applications such as Draft or Google Keep to cover up the quick capture problem. For example, I have a send to Obsidian shortcut key in my Draft and I immediately can transfer anything that I captured quickly in Draft into my Obsidian. Draft on its own is a great application to keep a temporary record of data or things that you capture daily and do what you want with them later. It supports markdown, it supports a lot of powerful shortcut keys, and it is very well respected among the users, well supported as well. You can see that frequent updates are coming in, and the price for this application is also very reasonable. Reminder application is also a capable application, but if you do not like the UI and if you got tired of it, then you might want to give things a try. Developers at Culture Code done a great job with this interface. 
It's very fluid, minimalistic, beautiful, and it makes the best use of gesture. Multi-select, drag and drop, ability to control multiple to-dos, all with a complementary flawless sync across all your devices. However, you need to purchase each version separately, but it's a one-time purchase. Things is loved by the users, and you would see that it's well supported, very well maintained, and the price is reasonable considering it's a one-time purchase. On the other hand, if you're looking for functionality rather than the interface, Todoist is fantastic. It gives you a perfect natural language processing, which is really clever and powerful. The NLP works with almost any functionality in the application. You have the ability to change each individual project separately and reformat the view to be a calendar view or agenda. Todoist is cross-platform, which means that you can even access it across your Android and Windows machines without sacrificing any features. You will get the natural language processing and lately reminders for free with your free tier plan. And if you need more features and functionality out of this application, then you have to pay a subscription price. Todoist is well maintained by the developers, frequent updates, and it is high rated by users. And the subscription price is reasonable for what you get out of this application. Next on the list is calendar application. I created a dedicated video for this application and I explained how it was revamped in iOS 18 and how it stands in front of other applications like Fantastical or Rado Calendar and iCross. I still believe Apple has done a great job in this revamp, but if it still doesn't work for you for any reason, you can try Fantastical if you're willing to pay for the subscription price because it's slightly higher than other applications. Fantastical is a business grade application and it's very innovative in terms of user interface. It is fantastic in terms of natural language processing. It is accessible for one subscription price across all your Apple devices and it gives you more options for integration in compared to other calendar applications. Fantastical is visually appealing and I believe they made the best use of user interface in every platform. For example, Fantastical has been on the market for a long time and they gain a lot of respect from customers. They updated the application frequently during years and despite selling it at a higher price than other application, I believe the price is completely justified considering all the features this application has to offer across all your devices. But if interface is more important to you, then you should look into a cross calendar application. This application is designed and developed by a Korean team and it's amazing in terms of customizability and the amount of different views that you get out of this application. You can customize every bit of this application, for example, color palette or themes, which you get a generous selection from this application. And almost every bits and corners of this application can be customized and changed. Across is available across all your devices as well. And you pay a one time premium fee for the application and separately for the color palette but it's a one-time purchase for life. Across is a newly emerged application, but the speed of development and new features coming in is fantastic. Despite its short lifetime, it gains some respect, and I can see that good reviews are coming in for this application. The price is more than reasonable for this application. It's a one-time purchase of £13 and another premium of £4 for the color palettes. Now let's find an app for your most valuable information. I mean, passwords credit card information, and secured notes. In iOS 18, Apple introduced this password manager, but it's still far from being useful for anybody. Other than just websites and some logins, it doesn't store anything. For that, I suggest you to use 1Password. 1Password has been on the market for a long time, and they're well developed. Their security system is penetration proof. They conduct time-to-time -time security breach contests, and they never had any trace of being hacked. If you check online, you will see that. The application has all the features that you need, including website two-factor authentication, credit card information, secured notes, and login information, autofill passwords, and even security and breach watchtower, which proactively gives you insight about your weak password or the password that has been exposed on the internet. The storefront shows it's been updated for a long time and it's very frequent. 
the developers are very persistent the rating is not that high on the uk market but i personally never had any problem with this application and i prefer it over any other password managers for its interface and also usability and feature the price is also quite reasonable for the value that you get out of this password manager now if you work with apple journal for a short time you will know that this is not a place you're going to store your most valuable information which are your memories and journals apple journal is just a basic application without export and import or backup functionality and user interface is really lacking in terms of accessibility a better alternative to apple journal is day one day one is on the apple store for more than a decade and it's very well developed the interface is quite fluid and very pleasant to use you can back up import and export and create alternative journals to your personal and even import your instagram account directly to your day one overall this application is a very safe place for your valuable journals you can upload multiple photos videos even voice recordings and weather information mood information and checking the storefront you can see that it was well maintained throughout the years gained a lot of respect from users and also set a reasonable price for their premium features and cloud sync which they use their own space and last on the list is apple mail if apple mail is not good enough for you and the features are still lacking for example no push notifications still for gmail accounts and it's all still fetch on a time interval and you do care about the time that you get your notification you can try spark Spark is a mail application, fantastic in terms of user interface. It has built-in AI. It has a smart list, which prioritizes your email and group them together. And it integrates very well with your Gmail and other mail services. Even the buttons on the notification are customizable, which means that you can set the actions on the response. You can customize the gestures on the email application and you can get benefits of smart view one and smart filter two which really helps categorizing your emails spark is accessible across the whole ecosystem ipad and also mac it is also well maintained and very frequently updated by a small team i think based in ukraine it is a one-time purchase but for the ai you need to pay subscription price which is sensible the premium you're gonna pay for this is free for basic access and two other tiers for individuals and teams.